Hey everyone, so today I did this makeup and I thought I would film it and show you how it went. So it's just really nude. I was actually inspired by these pictures of Kylie Jenner from the Golden Globes 2016 I think it is. But I just love the shape of her eye makeup and the colours and everything. So I thought I would adapt those colours to suit my current fair skin tone. I got sunburnt, not gonna lie. So I am not fake tanned and I wanted to show you how it looked on fair skin. So this is what I came up with. Remember this is only inspired by Kylie Jenner. I'm not claiming to do the exact same makeup look or look like her or anything. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've already got my foundation on because I'm doing a first impression so stay tuned for that. Um, and I'm gonna begin on my eyebrows. I'm going a shade or two darker than normal because I have my hair up in a bun and my roots are really really dark. So I'm using Soft Brown by Chi Chi. This is like a brow pom made and it's so nice I just feel like you've got to use a really small amount because it can easily get quite cakey so you want to just put on the smallest amount you possibly can and your brows come out so beautiful so I really like it so far I'm also using a brow mascara by Maybelline and that is the brows done moving on I'm gonna do my eyeshadow I didn't prime because I forgot but these eyeshadows are super pigmented so it still came out pretty well so I'm just mixing together some neutrals and putting those all over the lid and then I'm blending it up kind of like in a wing shape towards the outer edge of my eyebrow and you can kind of see the shape I'm going for and then I'm going to blend it out with a clean blender brush and you just want to keep doing this it doesn't matter if you get a little bit messy you can kind of clean it up I'm then taking another color and going in a straight line to achieve that same kind of shape that Kylie Jenner has so instead of like curving into my crease I guess I'm going in a straight line under my eyebrow hopefully that makes sense I'm just cleaning up the edge with a little bit of concealer because it got a little bit messy and then I am going to highlight my brow bone this is a matte color by makeup geek so I'm just popping that on the brow bone as I just said and then I'm taking one more darker kind of shade and kind of going on the outer V of that eye just to make that outer edge quite sharp and defined because her eye makeup is quite dark I didn't want to go as dark because I am you know rocking my fair skin I didn't want it to be too stark and dark so I just stopped here and then I'm taking one more highlight shade this one has a tiny amount of shimmer in it and I'm putting that on the inner corner and inner part of my lid and blending it out so it's barely there it's just to brighten up the eye just a little tiny bit and then I'm taking black eyeliner and I'm just smudging a little bit of this on the tight line and also the outer kind of edge of my eye and I'm using a little brush just to blend that out so it's nice and smoky and then on the waterline I'm using a bronze color first and then a dark brown on top of that and that's just going to give the kind of I don't know warm brown kind of waterline that Kylie is wearing ish you know for my lashes today I felt like wearing something nice and long and wispy so these are the romantic by exo beauty just applying those and then coating my top and bottom lashes with a coat of black mascara this was the first time I tried this Marc Jacobs mascara it came in this really cool press kit um, and so far so good I haven't really had much chance to try it out really I'll give it another go one day when I don't wear false lashes but it's nice and dark and black so I like that about it and then I just added a finishing touch to the eyeshadow I just sharpened it up one more time just so it's nice and strong and then blended it out well of course and then moving on to my face I am taking the contour shade from the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour kit and contouring my cheeks and then I'm using a blush brush base so beauty to kind of blend out that line a little bit so it's not as harsh and then for bronzer Kylie is looking super bronzed so I was feeling very inspired to do a super bronzed makeup look today so this is gold dust by Tom Ford it's so beautiful I think this is what she was wearing as well what her makeup artist used on her so I'm applying it heavily to my cheeks and my temples and I also put some on my um, jawline which I must have edited out then using summer bisque by bare minerals just to brighten up the under eye area it's not as intense as well rested so I just chose that and Kylie's not really wearing highlighter but I decided to put on highlighter because I was dying to try out this glow kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills and this color does not disappoint it is so pretty I love it a lot so I bathed myself in that a little bit and then for blush I think this is what she used as well I think I think I think if I am not mistaken so I'm just applying a small amount of that to my cheeks and then on my lips first of all I'm going to use the color that Kylie used I think it's called Nude Kate by Charlotte Tilbury so first I'm lining my lips and then just applying that lipstick but I decided to go with something a little bit paler because this color as you will see isn't like super light on my lips like Kylie Jenner was wearing a very light nude obviously she's a lot more tan than I am at the moment that's how that color looks it still looks really really nice though so to create the similar effect on my own lips I'm using Melted Sugar by Too Faced. I love this. I use it all the time I feel but it's just such a nice really pale nude. And then I'm going on top with Absorb by La Mesca Intense Lip Gloss just because it's super pale and it's going to give that really full effect like full lip 
glossy lip effect. And that is the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup. It kind of ended up being a little bit similar to my Perry Edward makeup look, which was not what I was going for, but hey, it is what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway. If you did, please thumbs up and I'll talk to you very soon. Love you. Bye. Hi everyone. Guess who's doing a chit chat? Get ready with me. Me. Finally, I've been so looking forward to doing one of these videos. As I film this, it is the 22nd of December, it's almost Christmas, and over the last, like, literally month, I've been doing so much traveling and just heaps of stuff. Like, every single weekend, I've been away. If you watch my vlog channel, this will be old news.